I'll use these four tables and I'll show you how we can merge these four different tables data into one table. I can say reverse of case transform. So let me create one job. So here I'm using, I created merge transform, job for merge transform. Okay, I'm taking my data flow. As I said, so if you want to use merge transform, so there are some prerequisites. Prerequisites in the sense like, so if you have three to four a number of uh, uh, tables as a source, then so across all the tables, structure should be same, data types should be same, length should be same. If if by any chance one of the table is not fulfilling our requirement then we can use Fourier transform just before to the merge and we can customize our fields we can change the field names or we can change the uh, data type everything we can do in Fourier transform and then so we'll go with that so merge transform so now so let me take my all four sources Source one, source two, source three, and all. So these are all my four sources. Here in my four sources, I have different different data. So luckily, see here we have the same structure. If we don't have the same structure, then what we have to do? So you can use for a just after the table. So for all the for all the tables by any chance if any of the structure any one structure is different then you can customize and you can uh, i mean give the same kind of structure as per your respective tables and then go with the merge transform so now i'm taking my schema into schema out so here my structure is same so that's why i'm not all doing any changes over here And merge transform is merge transform is a platform transform. As I said, platform transforms are helping transforms to the data integration transforms. Okay, so I am done with my uh, preparation. So now I am going to take some merge transform. Merge transform is a platform transform. So where is my image? Here it is. If you see the icon uh, itself it represents multiple sets to single set. It means like multiple input sets to single output set. So now I'm adding here. So in case also we have created labels, blah, 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 things, uh, and number of things we have done. But here in image also no need to do anything. Simply take your source and uh, so cross check whether all the structure should, whether it is same or not. If not, fulfill that requirements by using the uh, for your transform and uh, match all your input sets to merge transform and so load the data into a table so, gg underscore underscore match see if i open match transform so nothing is there here see see your your multiple input sets going as single output set see one structure is i mean the structure across same so that's why it is treating that structure so now you can see if any of the structure is different then our output set should be in a dilemma like which which set it should consider so that's why it will throw error error so now let me run this So my job completed successfully. Now I'm going to see that data. See, all 15 records came here, right? If if here it is showing in a, like a jumbling, right? So first set comes out here, second set comes out here, third set comes out here, fourth set comes out here, like that, right? If you want uh, any kind of like order, 
then you can you can go with the order by as well so take one for your transform so see you can see there is an order by option in query transform so you want to order your data based on serial number ascending order so now i'm trying to order that now let me execute my job completed successfully so now let me open my table see as per your this is the source that you used for case and so 